You may be wondering, how can a blackhead continue to build up for 20 years and still go unnoticed? Well, as it is on the back, it is harder to see. And this blackhead will continue to grow deeper into the pore, and it can stay there indefinitely. And as exfoliants can't remove deep blackheads, it will need to be extracted like this. And you can see it leaves a hole, but this should clear up over time. I'm ready. I'm Pore vacuums are so popular, and if used correctly, you can see why. They remove dead skin cells and oil from the nose. This is the Ooh. Third, so the most they're also known as blackhead vacuums, blackhead. but they can result in bruising if they use too much suction, so they're not recommended. So I've condensed this video to the most satisfying parts for you guys because the original was around 3 minutes long, but we have some crazy blackheads and a whitehead in the outer ear. Now the ears are covered in loads of tiny hair follicles and these produce oil, but they can be clogged by dead skin cells and if you have an oilier skin type, in excess of oil. So this is why it's important to fully wash out your hair products as some of these ingredients can be comedogenic, meaning they'll cause breakouts and clog the pores. But just wait for this last blackhead removal, it's insane. And there it goes. And we're back. You guys already know what I'm going to say, long nails and no gloves is a perfect way for bacteria to thrive. This also seems really time consuming, tweezing out each individual blackhead only for them to refill every few days. Ooh, these are so good, but it is easier and faster to apply an acid-based exfoliant. Although these are really satisfying, this procedure would take a lot of patience. The amount of pus that comes out of these squeezes is crazy, and this looks like inflammatory acne, which is shown by the pustules and the small red bumps, which occur when the pus from the pustules spreads into the skin. Extractions like this should only be done by licensed professionals, and if all other treatments have been unsuccessful. But points would have been added to the satisfaction if the extractions were just wiped off afterwards. And it would be nice to see some sort of eye protective gear on the patient, but exfoliation and a consistent skincare routine can help get rid of these. I can't seem to get away from blackheads in the ear, but who could resist squeezing a blackhead like this? And although the nails are nicely manicured, gloves are still a must. But now that the hair is out of the way, let's see the squeeze. And to avoid getting blackheads in your ear, make sure that your hair products are non-comedogenic, meaning that they won't clog your pores. This one's taking a few squeezes though. Okay, what is this? Let's have a look. So we're not off to the best start, and you probably already know why, but put your guesses in the comments below. So we have a super deep blackhead on the ear, and these are really hard to see by yourself, so it's good that there's someone getting it for them. But, you want to treat blackheads the same way you would on your face, and this is with exfoliation and salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. And they just apply way too much pressure. We're back with some blackhead removals, and these videos are so addicting to watch, but right off the bat, minus 0.5 for only wearing one glove. At first these may look like sebaceous filaments, but sebaceous filaments are actually beige and pale grey in colour. These will occur when too much bacteria, dead skin cells, and oil clog the pore, and products like salicylic acid and retinol are great at tackling them. But these will just refill and hopefully lead to more satisfying videos. Let's get straight into it. It's pretty difficult to see in your own ear, let alone remove something from it, so it's good there's a helping hand. But what is that? Let's see how the tweezers do, and this looks like a pretty deep pore. Look at the size of that. You guys seem to like the last pimple plucking video, so here's another. I'm also always amazed at how oddly satisfying these videos are. It's good to see gloss being worn, but the tool being used does look like a cuticle remover. Hopefully they don't leave the blackheads there. A better option will be to use salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. And you guys already know that these removals are temporary, and put in the comments how long you think they'll take to refill again. We need all extraction videos to be this close up, and seeing all the gooey stuff, also known as keratotic plugs, come off with these pore strips makes these videos just that much better. And if you listen, it sounds like it could be ASMR. But wetting the pore strips before using them makes them so they stick easier, and steaming before makes it so more stuff comes off with the pore strips. It's been a while since I've seen one of these videos. This is an ultrasonic skin spatula, and it helps to gently yet deeply exfoliate the skin. This one looks like it's going to be an interesting one. We have some oily skin and a decent amount of clogged pores. We're back with a personal favorite, blackhead extractions. And we're off to a great start with the tissues covering the nails. 
and as not everyone has medical gloves laying around, this isn't a bad alternative. This blackout is definitely ready for an easy extraction though, and it looks like it's on the back of the neck, so good thing they have someone helping them out. Clean extraction, let me know what you guys would rate this in the comments. How to remove oil in your nose. Let's see. Whoa, I did not expect that. What looks like white worms being squeezed out of the nose is actually oil and dead skin cells, and as the pores in the nose are larger, the oil will actually stay there until squeezed. Satisfying, but it can cause damage to the skin and spread bacteria to other pores. This is definitely one of the more satisfying blackhead removal videos. And it looks like they were on the forehead and nose area. Thumbs up for wearing gloves. Blackheads are a type of acne that are caused by the overproduction of oil and dead skin cells, and it's the exposure to the air that causes the blockage to darken and oxidize. Blackheads around these regions could be due to many reasons such as the way the hair sits on the head or the use of non-comedogenic products. But one pop, everybody knows the rules, 7.3. Let's get straight into it. This is a pore strip which is basically a strip of material with a sticky side on one side that sticks to the blackheads and strips them off. Men tend to have more oily and thicker skin which is why you see a lot of blackheads being removed but there are also some valid hairs in there. Following a consistent skincare routine and exfoliating once or twice a week can help you remove these blackheads. Not the best start we've had, I think I need to get always wear gloves tattooed on my forehead, but these can be really satisfying, especially when they get all of the blackheads. Slow peeling is definitely more painful, and looks like there could be some velocirs on that strip. 